So once you finish your Lucid chart, the last thing you need to do is make sure it's viewable uh, online or however you need to display it. So we have the options here. We've got a few options that we can use. We can first of all we can download it, which is fantastic. So you choose the option here. A few different things we can do with it. PDF if you're going to print it. PNG if you're going to uh, if you're going to want to do some editing for for it afterwards. But PDF is best for printing. If you're going to use PNG, that's for keeping on a computer screen. So we can download it to our machine if we wish. Uh, we've also got a few other options. We can export it to Google Drive. And again, it gives us the file types. These are good because then we can go ahead and embed them maybe in the site. Um, you can see if I want to go up to here, if I want to go back to my documents list, if there's others I want to edit. And finally, you can see here, we've been to the share one before to invite people. We can actually grab an embed link and put it onto a site or so on. So if I choose publish, for example, I can publish again as a PDF. There's a few other options here. And you can see the embed options there. If you didn't see how to do that, it's in share and embed. And this code here, look, is the kind of code, it's basically what's called a div, that we can drop onto a Google site. We can even customize the size it gives us there as well. So that's basically what you would do if you wanted to present this work to show what you've done. So you will need to either PDF it or turn it into an image such as a PNG or embed it onto a site to show the evidence of your work. And you can see here we can even share it on Twitter or Facebook. Obviously not sure why you'd want to do that but there we go. And that's what we do once we've finished our flowcharts about sharing or downloading or preparing it for use on a site.